Good morning. <laughs> Out 18 minutes after nine o'clock on the 26th of September 2019. E for marketwizards.com, emoneywizard.com, reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. All right, I've suggested there's a hidden pivot at 84.75. Anybody that is taking entry and probably second entry too, <clears throat> we talked about the idea of a convenient trade coming backwards in a regression trade ahead of news. Got a news event and we've come back in into the day's range. Obviously, we've hit the middle, uh, the symmetry trade, and, and we can see that we had the push overnight and then the failure up here. Um, target today, we've got certainly the test at 96, 97, but that's what we're using for resistance early in a regression trade. Not a lot of volume. Um, my suggestion, anybody that's played for the gap at 86 and a half paid for sure. And if we're looking at a two day swing, you can see why this 84, 75, 84 and a half, uh, I have suggested make sure you are paid. Uh, judging by this chart, a 40 back would get us all the way back here to 79 and change. So we're gonna keep that in mind. And this is a nice look. And all I'm doing is taking the measure from yesterday's low. <laughs> we had the swing in one direction. Now we've got the swing in the other. So for now, all we know is this is a pretty big middle at 75. And that's why I said, let's use 75 for our assumed support. And to do that, to get there, you got to break down obviously the overnight low. So this was done, uh, this is a pretty good turnaround yesterday. <clears throat> and obviously in this chart, this 75 should be the key today. <clears throat> it needs to hold to continue yeah, bouncing. If we get below that, then that will probably negate um, the idea of of today being a you know a little bit stronger. So down day, reaction day, <clears throat> hold overnight. I said last night. I'd said that 78 very important. Remember Kyle talked about a 70 uh, 79 breakout third time through 78 area. I said yep 78's got a hold and it did. So this low 78 to 75 obviously very key in today's trading. Anybody's played early and got a few bucks make sure you lock something early and all we know is this is the current range that we are in. So let's play that range. Angels and demons we've done. Here is our <clears throat> daily look. We've come back a 60 back already. Throw it up in the air. I said, keep your eye on yesterday's high, 91 and a half. So that's a big clue going forward today. On a hat, just like yesterday. Obviously, back here at when we had called the uh, <clears throat> support, make sure you are aware we're above the 58, so it's a regression trade. And all this do was done yesterday afternoon. Um, right here, in, in my opinion, here's that third time through trade. Let's power this line, and <clears throat> this is what we had talked about right there when Kyle said this would be a third time through, and I said, yep. As long as we can hold the 78s. And that's what they did. They jammed it into the close overnight. They held it and then scooted up into the mid 90s. So we shall see. Today should be a, an interesting day. And hit and run is advised. Here was the 15 minute chart that I said fives. We're a little bit ahead of ourselves. Let's look at the tens and 15s. Here we go right back to the rain line. So wrecking mall trade needs to stay below the rain line. If not, we're still <clears throat> bouncing. And right now this has the look of testing support. So resistance has been found temporarily and we are now testing support. Monthly look. 
need to look at this chart. This, this is an important chart because we can see the relationship of that 75 and then yesterday's high, that 92, 91 and a half area. So keep an eye on, on this. And, and again, we're at the end of the month or near the end of the month. So it's only appropriate <clears throat> that we keep our eye on this. So some will be saying we've got a head and shoulders top. And uh, obviously that's possible, double top. Um, yesterday should not escape you that I'd said yesterday that, okay, if we break that 52 area, then 47 can be tested. And I'm thinking about last year's high. I think this is still a very, very big key. So we want to remember that as well. And last year's um, high basis, this contract was 55. So very important support area that needs to get undermined if the shorts are going to start to backpedal and, and uh, come back and do some more damage. And all we know right now is we are fighting in the uppermost box for the year. Very important what we just discussed here terms of continuation. Predictive chart. <clears throat> this is where we were pre-market. And now we're down into this territory. So all we know is range trade, the overnight range. And then we need to get more information before we can conclude that we're coming back under 78. And we will look at that regression trade uh, middle as the day progresses. And that's back in here. And six would get us all the way back here to 68. So I don't want to think too, you know, too much ahead of ourselves. We're going to take it step by step. Let's see the opening rotations. Both sides should be jockeying for position. And we've got to see who wins and join the winning team. All right, let's get ready to rumble. Be with you in a minute. 